was a showdown between two undefeated SEC powerhouses and two very bitter rivals, LSU and the Ole Miss Rebels. Tickets were at such a premium in the 67,500-seat stadium that one man offered a used Cadillac for four seats. One guy even ventured to swap his wife. LSU was ranked number one, Ole Miss number three. Each team had allowed only one touchdown in the seven previous games of 1959. Ole Miss managed a field goal in the first quarter, but both defenses were suffocating. It appeared that neither team was destined to score a six-pointer that all hallows eve. That's when Billy Cannon took destiny into his own hands. Ole Miss, he stands on his own 28. He gets a pass from center. He boots it and gets another nice kick away going way downfield. Billy Cannon watches it bounce. He takes it on his own 11. He comes back up field at the 15. Stumbles momentarily. He's at the 20. Running hard at the 25. Gets away from one man for 30. Still runs the 25. At the 35. The 25. He's down to 50. He's in the kick. 45. 40. In the 10 He scores. Billy Cannon raised some 89 yards for a touchdown. Listen to the cheer for Billy Cannon as he comes off the field. Great all America. The run gave the Tigers six points and the victory. It also helped Billy Cannon lock up the Heisman Trophy. If there's one play that symbolizes the spirit of LSU football, it's the punt return where a cannon streaked across the field. LSU led seven to three but many have forgotten that there were still 10 minutes remaining in the game. Ultimately, a dramatic goal line stand saved the game for the Tigers. On fourth down, Ole Miss was about to score, but who else but Billy Cannon made the hit that assured an LSU victory. Although the Halloween Night Classic of 1959 is perhaps the most famous game in LSU history, it was certainly not the Tigers' first golden moment. <laughs>